Welcome to Planet Vehicle, an automotive reality show. Planet Vehicle helps the viewer experience the world of automobiles. We review new cars and take you on test drives. We talk with the heads of the automotive industry to find out what products their companies are bringing to the showroom. Transportation is a large part of lifestyle. We bring you athletes, business leaders, and celebrities at events where cars, SUVs, and motorcycles are featured and highlighted. Classic cars, new cars, or futuristic cars, Planet Vehicle puts them in the spotlight. Planet Vehicle introduces you to car clubs, takes you to auto shows, and reports from the racetrack. In addition to our television program, Planet Vehicle's website keeps you updated on the latest news and trends, while our viewer appreciation events provide the opportunity to mingle, network, and experience new and exciting models straight off the assembly line. An automobile is a huge purchase. Planet Vehicle shows you how to take great care of your investment, whether it's safety, maintenance, or ideas to customize your vehicle. Join us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, and the web. Planet Vehicle brings you the world of automobiles. Welcome to Planet Vehicle, first of all. Well, thank you. <laughs> Last year, number two for the Sprint Cup this year, sixth generation. What do, you, what do you think about these new cars? I think they're cool. Um, you know, getting back to the identity side of the sport and what it was founded on, um, you know, I think our Camrys are pretty mean looking and, and certainly have some, some good speed on the racetrack so far in the test. So I think we're all, all anxiously uh, anticipating, you know, what's, what's in store for us this season. Now with the change in the weight distribution, what have you noticed with that so far on the track? You know, the biggest thing is, is just the, the, you know, the, the, the bodies and things on them, you know, having, having more grip, being a little bit faster on the racetrack, certainly at a mile and a half track like, like Charlotte uh, last week, um, speeds were fast. They were, they were definitely, um, you know, acknowledgeable right off the bat. It was like, this thing is super fast. I'm going qualifying speeds and race trim. What's it going to be like in qualifying trim? So, you know, certainly something that we all uh, recognize right off the bat. I mean, you know, I had guys calling, you know, Casey called and, and when I was talking to him about it. He did a test, uh, you know, weeks prior and he was like, man, it's, it's way fast. You know, I don't, we, none of us know what it's going to race like, but we certainly know what it feels like, you know, by ourselves. And one last question for you. How are you feeling with the, with the new flaps? Does that make you feel more comfortable? Well, I haven't seen them. <laughs> Luckily, but uh, hopefully when I do see them, they, they work, you know, like they're supposed to, but they're definitely a lot bigger. They should work. Bigger's always better, right? That's what they say. Yeah. Thanks for coming on Planet Vehicle. Thank you. Join us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, and the web. Planet Vehicle brings you the world of automobiles. Tracy Morgan, and you're watching Planet Vehicle. Holla. Hey, it's Alfie Jones for Planet Vehicle. We are in New York City, the Big Apple, and I am in the Soho District, and we're standing outside of the Open House Gallery. Now, at a gallery, you always, you always know you're going to find fine works of art, but tonight is going to be very special because we have a Bentley inside. It's a Bentley party around the New York Auto Show, but more importantly, guess what? It's a Bentley SUV. It's called the EXP. 9F. It's inside. We're going to take a look at a Bentley SUV right here on Planet Vehicle. So come on in. And believe it or not, there is a Bentley SUV floating around us right behind us. And if you don't believe me, ask this man. This man is a, he's from the home of the Terrapins. And then he got drafted to the NFL and played for the Super Bowl champion, New York Giants. And being from Washington, D.C., it's hard for me to say that, but I got to give people their due. Darrell Scott, how you doing, son? Good. How are you? All right. So I was telling people before I came in that there was a Bentley SUV. Am I correct? Yes. I mean, I, I heard a little bit about it, but the scene, seeing it face-to-face, -face, it's, it's, a, it's a legit car. What do you think so far? Man, this is... The interior is ridiculous. I mean, I, I can't, I'm speechless right now just, just being here. I'm standing here with Richard Charlesworth. He is the director of Royal and VIP relations for Bentley Motors. How you doing, Richard? I'm doing very well. How are you? Good, good. It seems like everybody is enjoying the party tonight. There's only one star, and that, of course, is the SUV concept, yeah. the EXP 
Mike. That, yeah, 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 that's right. No, no, it's great everybody's come here to see this because we're really keen to get the reaction of our friends from the media and from customers and prospective customers here in New York as to the possibility of us making this motor car. Well, I tell you, when you first debuted it, I got an email from one of our viewers, yeah. and they said, check this out, a Bentley SUV, and I'm like, really? And then I looked it up and I see it, but now I'm standing right behind it, and the reaction is tremendous. So I have a one-word question for you. Yeah. When? Well, if it were to happen, and the decision is not made, that's why we're here, to gauge reactions. If it were to happen, it would be at least three to four years away because that's the gestation period of a car. This is, this is a model. It's a concept car. So this is, first of all, as you rightly said, to gauge reaction to, number one, the principle, should Bentley bring out an SUV in this category at that sort of price and performance level? And then if so, if the answer to that is positive, should it look like, look like this? Should it have this exterior, this interior? And that's what a concept is about. It's a gauge reaction. So let's hope it's as positive always as it has been tonight. And then three or four years' time, we can see the real thing. Tomato, tomato, if, when. You say if, I say when. Now, I understand because you are with the company, you can't jump the gun. And, of course, being modest, he's saying if people want it. Now, I've already jumped to the conclusion, and I'm predicting people want it. So my whole question will be when. And, of course, as soon as you guys make the decision, please let us know. Of course we will. And, and, and once we do we will let everybody know because it's not a part of the market we're in at the moment. And we showed with the Continental GT that entered a part of the market that didn't have anything there. By telling everybody it was coming, what do you know? Everybody waited to buy one. And we think the same could happen with this because there is nobody, we believe, in that sector of the market yet, so maybe we can fill that sector. Okay. Well, to paraphrase the movie, if you build it, they'll buy. Richard Charlesworth. Thank you so very much for coming on Planet Vehicle. Just remember, if you are royalty or VIP and you want a Bentley, this is the man to see. Thank you. Looking forward to seeing you. All right. For Planet Vehicle, we're here in New York for the auto show, standing in front of the concept, which hopefully will be fruition. Let's hope. EXT 9F. I'm Alvin Jones. Tracy Morgan, and you're watching Planet Vehicle. Holla. Patrick Dempsey, as you can see, Patrick's right here. Patrick, how are you? I see you taking pictures. We're going to get a chance. As you can see, Patrick's taking pictures right now. How are you today? Hey, Alvin Jones with Planet Vehicle. How are you? Very good, thank you. Very All right. Now, we know that you've been racing Mazdas for years. What, what's the zoom, zoom element? How do you feel when you race a Mazda? Oh, I feel great. I mean, I love racing for Mazda. They've been incredibly supportive, and their ladder program is very supportive to drivers. You see a lot of the ladder kids here today. Uh -huh. It's really important for us at Dempsey Racing to give the young drivers uh, an opportunity, like Mazda has given me an opportunity to continue uh -huh. racing. So that's, that's really part of the heritage, and also I think what you're seeing of all the technology and all the development has really lent itself into what Sky Active is all about and the, uh, the speed, the, the compression rate, uh, the fuel efficiency, it's, it's all really a nice combination. So Maz is very much about racing and how that affects you in the car on a daily basis. You, you like to so say with your racing team, you drive on the track. Do you see how the, uh, the, the accolades and the, uh, the types of performance that happens on the track translates to everyday driving for folks? Yeah, I think it's very much part of the culture at Mazda is racing. And you see, like, I have a Speed 3, which is a great car. It's a very fast car, but it's also a car you can put your bikes in, you can put your family in, and it really translates from the speed of the track, and that part of that culture really gets into the performance in the street cars. Yeah, I remember I had a chance to take the Speed 3 in the yeah, Laguna yeah, Seca yeah, yeah. and do the corkscrew. Right, yeah, yeah, that's a lot of fun going that's through right. there. And the handling of the car, the fit and the finish is really starting, and the styling, it's really nice to see it all come together. Now, what's your impressions of the CX-5? Well, I was telling the gym, I was like, I want one for myself now. But I like the stance of the car. I think it looks really good, very solid car, and it's going to be really efficient. So it's, it gets the best of both worlds. And a car that's like that, it's really durable. It's big. You can get a lot in it. You can get your family in it and stylish. So I think for the price point, everything that it offers is a really solid option uh, with everything else that's out there. And I think the Sky Active technology is really something that's uh, really quite exciting. They've been developing that engine for over 10 years, and to see it finally come to market is a, a great triumph for everybody at Mazda. Great. So if somebody wants to know about, more about your race company, is there a website or do you have yeah, Twitter? You racing.com and you can check it out. And um, we have some other stuff coming out. We always Twitter on the team. And uh, we'll be at Daytona this year running the Mazda RX-8. And uh, looking forward to going back. We had a great run there last year. We finished on the podium, which was a great breakthrough for us. And we had a good season for the most part. We got on the podium a few times. So hopefully we can continue on and uh, 
You know, we really want to shoot to getting back to Le Mans in 2013 with the Sky Active program running LMP2. So that's our goal, and hopefully we'll start to develop that program uh, a little bit more uh, consistently this year. All right. So thanks a lot, Patrick, for stopping by. We'll be back with more with Planet Vehicle. Join us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, and the web. Planet Vehicle brings you the world of automobiles. Hey, it's Alvin Jones for Planet Vehicle, and today we are in the basement of Nissan headquarters in Nashville, Tennessee, where we're going to take a look at the all-new 2013 Nissan Altima. Uh, years ago, uh, NASA did a study in uh, the weightless environment of space where they determined the ideal contour of the, of the human body and the human spine. Uh, we took that research and we actually designed our seats to conform most ideally to the human body. Ultima has been here for 20 years, uh, 20 years of success. Uh, Ultima was actually the first uh, Asian model to win the uh, North American Car of the Year Award in 2002. Uh, we have also increased uh, the, the level of quietness in the vehicle, and we did that with things like uh, improved sound absorbing material. Uh, some of the, the uh, roof absorbing material that you can see on the headliners over there uh, have 30% more damping capability uh, than the previous uh, generation material. It's never been done before. Nissan managed to install three features into a car that before were only seen on luxury models. The new 2013 Nissan Altima can come with lane departure warning, a feature meant to warn you when you drift from your lane. How? The specifically developed rear camera is constantly scanning the roadway for lane markers. If your car is detected leaving the confines of your lane, an icon lights up and you'll hear a beeping sound. The 2013 Altima can also help you know more about your surroundings with blind spot warning. This icon lights up to warn you when a vehicle is detected in your blind spot. If you then put your turn signal on, the icon will flash and beep. Moving object detection is another perk available in this latest car from Nissan. When you have the car in reverse, the rear camera scans the area behind the vehicle. If a moving object is detected in this area, a yellow frame appears around the rear camera image, and again you will hear beeping. These features usually require additional sensors and cameras, but the new Altima does it all using only one camera. Nissan engineers developed an innovative, first-of-its-kind camera. It's equipped with a wide-angle lens to see more, and it has sophisticated software to accomplish more advanced functions. Another world's first related to the new Altima is the self-cleaning capability that comes with this new camera. A drop of windshield wiper cleaning solution is regularly carried from the front of the car to the back and released onto the camera lens. Then an air compressor releases a burst of air to finish the cleaning process and dry the camera. When the tire pressure warning system alerts you to a low tire, a display shows you the pressure and the relevant tire or tires. Then you drop into a gas station and grab the air hose. As you fill the tire, the car's four-way flashers come on to confirm that air is going in. When the tire's full, the horn chirps. If you put in too much air, the flashers blink faster and the horn beeps three times. The horn chirps again after enough air has been let out to reach the proper inflation. Well, Avin, I'm Vishnu Jayamohan. I'm a product planner here with Nissan, and today I'd love to show you the 2013 Altima. This is an all-new vehicle from the ground up and one that we believe is really going to shake up the mid-size sedan segment like Altima always has. What we have here is a very premium style vehicle. We've got projector headlights, uh, deep draw stampings in the metal overall that give a very premium Im image to the vehicle. In fact, with the entire vehicle, the overarching theme was to create a class above vehicle, a vehicle that's very premium in both the way it looks, 
the way it feels inside, and the way it drives. So talking about the looks, as I mentioned, we have a, a premium look to the vehicle. This Kamishino grille, for example, is, is uh, designed to emulate a samurai's coat of arms, and it's inspired by that facet of Japanese culture. The overall proportions of the vehicle itself are that it's a slightly longer vehicle with a more tapered roof line, and we've got chrome details at the chrome door handles and the chrome daylight opening. Overall, this lends the vehicle a very premium appearance. Inside, we've got premium features as well. So we've got a woven headliner, we've got a more, uh, a more improved sound insulation material, and that overall helps in bringing it down to a level that's in tune with the premium vehicle. We've got premium features as well, such as a rear view camera that's standard on our volume model and up, remote start that's standard on the volume model up as well, a heated steering wheel, a Bose stereo, perforated leather seats, and heated seats are just some of the other options that we have. The other thing which we want to talk about is the driving experience itself. So we benchmarked BM the BMW 3 Series, the Mercedes C-Class, and other premium sedans in developing the redefined multi-link suspension for this car. Ultima's always used the multi-link suspension, in fact, we have for the last decade, but it was up to us to advance that further and deliver something new to this customer. We also use premium Sox, Z, ZF Sox shock absorbers that are found in other luxury marks as well. Overall, the vehicle has a premium ambiance, interior, exterior, and features, but one more thing I'd like to talk to you about is the fuel economy, because that's a huge story with this car. With this vehicle, we're developing, we're having 38 miles to the gallon highway, which is the best in class fuel economy number. It even exceeds that of some of our hybrid competition as well. And that's standard on every single Ultima, no optional engine required. But the best part is you still get the fun Ultima, fun to drive experience that you would expect from a Nissan Ultima. And that, is, that means projected best in class acceleration that we've actually tested against other mid-size sedans. We're over half a qu second quicker than our nearest competitor. In fact, we estimate for the four cylinder, our zero to 60 time is gonna be 7.1 seconds. So it's an outstanding performance and an outstanding uh, efficiency overall. Part of that's achieved through our all new CVT. We have an all new CVT with this car that has expanded gear ratio range, and that's what helps us achieve, uh, part of which helps us achieve this uh, excellent fuel economy. The other part of it is mass reduction. Despite the car being bigger in terms of length and width overall than the outgoing car, we've actually reduced weight in the vehicle. And that's done through some excellent uh, engineering through the use of hull tri strength materials and aluminum alloys in the body structure. Tracy Morgan, and you're watching Planet Vehicle. Holla. Experience things throughout our home. That's interesting. The gentleman here, he's got a camera that's sitting outside, so he's going to get really get a decent track view. So we're coming up to the line. See back just a little bit. My helmet. There it is. I am ready. Can we go? Here we go. This is how we do it. Like I said, with this, we can stay in, basically stay in third gear. Yeah, that's a testament to the motor. You know, it just keeps pulling. It'll pull you out of the corner and take you all the way down the straight. That's a great power man. So here we break that. Yeah, breaking over to the left, looking right. Around the corner. And the trick of it is, is to always look in the direction that you want to go. Absolutely. So yeah. now we're looking left. We're going to squeeze on the throttle and take us up the hill a bit. Oh, yes. Staying to the right now. Now we hit the brakes. Now tap for the brakes. Look into the turn. There we go. Here we go. And it handles very well. Yeah. We're around the corner. Great balance. All right now we squeeze it again. As I look for the next cone, it tells me where I can be. A little place hit, and I hit. Accelerate, accelerate. And it's going to the gun, hit the brake, go toward the cone, hit the next cone, and we're off. And all of this is in third gear. All is third gear. All is third gear. Come around. That's okay. Here. Hit the brake. Break, break, break. Break it down right. and head for the next go. And guess what? We're going to do a slow up and we'll go into slow one down. Pull it right down. And so now we're going to do one more lap, which is to cool down. Because it is getting hot in here. Okay. Mike, how long have you been driving? Oh, a long time. Started racing about 28 years ago. Okay. We'll keep going through for our cool down. Okay. And, and I'll just, just keep it in third gear. Yeah, so good okay. pace and try not to use the brakes. Okay. Stay off the brake. Okay. Hey. That was fun. Yeah. This is cool. Yeah. 
All right, so we're going to cool down and we're done. This is so great here at Planet View.